this is Allison Stewart with Dollar Templates and Fonts and I want to thank you for joining me as I show you how to create a form in a Word 2010 document. Well, a form is a great way to collect data from users. For example, if you have a registration form or a survey or an employment application that you want to complete quickly, Unless you specify the exact values that you want to pull from the form to keep your data more consistent. So let's get started. To save time, I already typed in the basic content for the form that we're going to be working on. Next we'll need to add in the form fields. And to do that, we'll need to access the Developer tab, which is not included in Word by default. Well, in the Word ribbon by default. Let's add that in. We'll click the Customize Quick Access Toolbar and select more commands. We are taken to the Word Options window where we can select Customize Ribbon and we can check Developer and then click OK. That now adds in the Developer tab into our ribbon. Now let's place a cursor where we want our first form field to go, which is by the trainer's name. Let's return to the Developer tab and then go to the Controls group. The Controls group includes a variety of form fields that we can use for our form. And since I want to use some type of uh, a text form field, I'm going to click on either the Rich Text Content Control button, which allows me to style the information within the form, the form field, or I'll select the train, the text, the plain text, excuse me, content control, which allows me to use unformatted text. And I'll go ahead and click on that one to use it. It automatically adds in that form field where my cursor was. Now, I can leave this as is, or I can customize its properties, which I'll do. To do that, click on Properties, and that opens another window, and I'll type in Name to allow that to to pair with the user as in the information to the form. Another option that we have is to prevent users from deleting the form control or we can prevent users from editing its values or its contents. I'll leave those off and I'll click OK. The next form field I want to add is one by the class attended. And for this, I want to allow users to pull from a list of choices. So I'll use the drop down list content control for that. I'll click on that, and that adds it automatically where my curse to where my cursor was. Again, I'll select properties to customize its options. And I'll type in class. You can type anything in here. Next, I'll go to the drop down list properties section to add in the item, the many items for my selection. Click on Add. And the options I want to add in are Basic Word 2010. And I'll click OK, or you can press Enter. And I'll click Add again. And I'll type in Intermediate Word 2010. And the last one I'll add in is Advanced Word 2010. Now they've been added into the drop down list. You can leave this the way it is, or you can modify it even more. Let's say you made a mistake and we wanted to put Microsoft Word instead of Word. You can click on the option and click Modify and change Word to Microsoft Word. That automatically changes it for you. And we'll click OK. Another thing you can do is to move up or move down each menu item. To do that, simply click the menu item that you want to um, reorganize or want to move up or move down, and then click the Move Up or Move Down command. Another thing you can do is to delete a menu item from the list. Let's say I wanted to remove the basic Microsoft Word 2010 because we did not offer that um, as one of the trainings. Highlight it and then click Delete or Remove and that takes it off from the list. Let's click OK. The next thing we want to do is to allow users to 
choose a date when they attended the training. So I'll place my cursor where I want that option to go. For this, I'll select the Date Picker Content Control. And that adds to the calendar for when the user fills out the form so they can select that on their own. And that minimizes errors. Next, for the yes and no options, I like to include some kind of a checkbox. So I'll place my cursor where I want that to go. And there's a checkbox value in the ribbon. So I'll select that, place my cursor to the next option, and click on that, and do the same for the options below. Now, for the next option, how helpful was the training? I want that again to be some kind of a selection, so I'll use the drop down option again. And I'll customize its properties. And I'll type in training or rate training. And then for its options, I'll add those in. And while I add those in, I'll go ahead and pause this video and I'll return when they're done. Okay, so now I've added in the drop down list options and I'll click OK. So those are added in now. Last, we'll add in a text field so users can add in the information that they want to include for any additional trainings that they'd like to see in the future. And again, I selected the plain text content control to add it in. I'll double, I'll click on properties and modify that. All right, so now we're done with our form. Another thing I like to do with the form is to restrict it to edit in, to preserve it, and to keep users from accidentally modifying the form. And to do that, we'll select the Developer tab, which we already have open, and we'll go to the Protect group, and we, click, we will click on Restrict Edited. We don't need the first option in the task pane. That's for modifying styles, but we'll go to the second option for edit and restrictions and we'll select fill in and forms from the drop down list. Next, let's click on yes, we'll, we'll enforce this protection. That opens um, a password protection window where we'll add in a password which we'll like to keep handy in case we need to modify the form in the future. And once you're done with that, click OK. So that's basically it for creating a form in Microsoft Word 2010. I want to thank you so much for your time. Please leave your comments below. And for this or more tutorials, you may visit me in my blog at Dollar Templates and Fonts, which is listed, listed below. Or you may subscribe to my feed. Thanks again and have a fantastic day.